If you like growing food, then you might like eating food. And if you like eating food, then you might like cooking food. Well, go check out the first season of Backyard Kitchen available on Tubi for free. Available on all smart TVs and online. That's T-U-B-I. All free first season of Backyard Kitchen. Howdy ho, gardeners. It's Wednesday and you know what that means. It's time for a new series to come out this week. We are going to be talking about, here we go, listen carefully, gardening in the spring. Not spring gardening, but gardening in the spring. There's so much overlap in spring and gardening. It can get very confusing. And we tried to just break it down for you um, the best that we can. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting over a bit of a cold, so forgive me. But we're, we're trying to help people intermingle all kinds of crops into their garden versus where they're at spring and summer crops at the same time and really get your timing down so that we can have more productive gardens and have a seamless transition from one season to the next. We realize that some people and a lot of people don't even do a spring only garden. They just kind of do maybe just a summer garden or you might do a little bit of both. And by that, what we mean by spring garden is your cool weather crops. And then you mix them in with your warm weather crops. And when you do that, it's it leaves for confusion to unfold within the garden because sometimes we might get a little confused, and I'm guilty of it too, of when did this go in? When can this come out? How should I be harvesting this? What time frame does this, you know, what causes lettuce to bolt, so on and so forth. So by doing this, we're trying to help everybody to do things like avoid unnecessary damage, um, make sure that we're planting some crops early enough, and then timing certain parts of it. So we want to get in and out of the garden. So there's a big difference between spring gardening and gardening in the spring. So it's kind of like for me in my garden, I, I garden in the winter, but I don't winter garden, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's like a, it's like a, a nuance between the terms, but I don't grow specifically for winter. I grow in the fall and it drags on into the winter. And so that's kind of the same idea is you're, you're growing in the spring, but it's going to drag on in the cool season crops are going to drag on into the warm season crops. So we're just trying to help break that down for you and get everybody out there in their gardens and get you to get more delicious, healthy food in your garden. So thank you. Uh, it'll be the next four weeks. We'll be talking about that. And then we're going to go into another series, but, um, thank you guys so much. Thank you for being part of the show and check out the link below. If you'd like to be a patron, help support the show. Um, we're trying to grow our show and to make it. So we're trying to hire some people so we can be more focused on creating the content and get this machine running more smoothly so if you want to help support us you'll get two extra episodes a month and there's other benefits on there as well some benefits some tiers even get t-shirts and stuff so check all that stuff out um and until then we will see you tomorrow morning right have a good one everybody see ya we hope you enjoyed today's show please follow us on youtube at backyard gardens tv instagram at backyard gardens tv over on our website, BackyardGardensTV.com. And then we have Patreon at Backyard Gardens. And don't forget to check out our links below to help the show. Thank you so much for joining us as we learn to grow and grow for change. Cut. Now you know why people feel like celebrating at harvest time. All over the world, people have feasting and good times when the crops have been gathered in. Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking out the Backyard Gardens podcast. If you like what we're doing and you want to continue to support the podcast, head over to our Patreon page to sign up. You can also make a one-time donation using PayPal. Both of these links are in the description. With your support, we can continue growing and helping others in their gardens. See ya.
If you guys want some backyard gardens gear, go to the link below and check out our t-shirts, mugs, pint glasses, and other gear. All purchases go towards helping to support the show, so thank you so much in advance, and we hope you enjoy. We want everybody to have a garden, and we're going to give you a chance to win free seeds every month. Head over to BackyardGardensTV.com and enter your email address to be entered in all of our giveaways. Good luck. We want you to be a part of our gardening community. DM us a picture of your garden at Backyard Gardens TV on Instagram, and we will share it with our listeners.